Hi, I'm Taylor and this is Nigerian Dwarf Farm. I want to give you an update today on my does. As you know, they were impregnated not long ago by four bucks and they did show no signs of going back into heat. So I've got to say very good work to the bucks. You did your job and you earned your place on the farm. So it's important when you have uh, pregnant does that you give them the proper nutrition and that requires good quality hay, goat minerals, the proper percentage of protein in grain, and make sure you have all the clean water that they need. So it's a windy day today and I guess I'll have to filter out a little bit of this noise with my special software. I guess you can see that some of my does are starting to fill out a little bit. Their bellies are getting big and I'm expecting, oh, I don't know, one to two to three, maybe even up to five kids. And it's always rewarding to see the young kids coming to life. After all that hard work I put in on them all year long, they'll finally give birth and there'll be some new feet running around in the pasture. I have some very pretty does here and they've got some really good udders for milking. And there's Jenny. I'm always impressed by how pretty she looks. As you can see, the does are getting plenty wide. This one always seemed to be the widest of the bunch. Gosh, she just fills right up. And it's not necessarily a whole bunch of kids either. It could just be one or two, but maybe three. I don't know. And here's the first time girl right here. She's a mini La Mancha. Very friendly goat. And I'm looking forward to seeing how her udder turns out. I think she's going to be a heavy milk producer. I can do all this work to my goats. I can feed them. I can take care of them. I can help them when they're pregnant, give deliveries. But the one thing that I can't do that I do need help with is to increase my subscribership. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. That would be a big help. When birthing begins, it's always the busiest time of year for me with my goats. I'm constantly looking through the pasture, looking to see who needs help and who's given birth to who. And it's a time of keeping records and making sure that I accurately document the goats. I'll be taking pictures and writing out forms and all kinds of neat stuff. And it's a busy, busy time. Someone's rubbing my back back here. Are you enjoying doing this? Huh? You really like to rub your head on my back, don't you? This is Frosty. She's a nice goat right here. She had four kids last year. Always want to have a clean, dry place out of the wind for my does when they get ready to give birth. They need plenty of room to move around in, and they need to be checked on and make sure things are going fine. So it's the one time that the does really do need a helping hand. As the moms get further on in their pregnancy, you'll notice that they're doing a whole lot more laying down. They're not as active as they would normally be if they didn't have the pregnant, if they didn't have the kids inside of them. So a lot of the times you just see them lazing around in the sun. Well, that's just being a pregnant mom. There's nothing really wrong with that. To give your does the best chance of having a successful pregnancy, make sure that you're up to date on your vaccinations and on your deworming. It seems like the barber pole worms especially seem to know when is the best time to attack the does. What I do is one month before they're scheduled to give birth, I give them a CD and T shot and I check to see how their worm load is. 
being out here in the barren woods where there's hardly any green things to eat, I really don't have too many problems with the barber pole worm or any worms for that matter. But it's also important to know what is going on with that. So if you have a microscope or you can send in a fecal sample and know exactly what's going on with their worm load. Well, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.